Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to this new energy update, so let's find out together what the energies have to say about the path in front of you. You don't have to fit in every consideration that we are going to share, so as the saying goes, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's start with a couple of oracle cards. Here we go. Peace. A leg up, fork in the road, and by the book. So, for some of you, a choice following the fork in the road oracle card, a choice about the opportunity to change direction in order to honor your mindset by the book, a leg up. If we think about support, maybe some of you are not receiving it from a lover, from someone close to you, maybe co-workers, for others of you. And so there can be a question, where can you find your peace? The Four of Cups guys wanted to come out. Let's keep it. taking some time in order to think about a situation that may not be anymore a source of excitement, fulfillment, satisfaction. There can be something available for you moving forward, but you may have to cut ties with the old situation at the 100%. Otherwise, you may run the risk to kinda not be able to appreciate the new opportunity as well, you know? So, Four of Cups, Justice, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Temperance, King of Cups, Ace of Swords, so this one is the decision at the crossroads. Ace of Wands, Hanged Man, The Lovers. Six of Cups, bottom of the deck, my favorite card in the deck. All about the purest of hearts, your heart. And then it can be an energy about memories if we think about a romantic connection. A romantic connection that can be on the line, guys, because we got the Ten of Swords. It can be a necessary transition for some of you. If we follow the justice, there can be the opportunity to consider a divorce. If that's the case, the Ten of Pentacles can describe even a marriage, a situation with a lot at stake. There can also be a scenario about your career, but first, I would like to come back for a second to the consideration that we have shared about the Four of Cups, you know? Kinda an offer available, but with the risk to kind of overlook it, you know? You can find a new opportunity moving forward after you have taken care of an extremely important transition that can allow you to leave behind an established relationship. And in order to see that opportunity, it will be important to avoid, to bring forward leftovers related to the old connection. But what I am thinking right now is the fact that you may have tried to offer in favor of your person opportunities to kind of fix the situation between the two of you, they never 
really paid attention to your suggestions, the mechanism took a toll on the relationship and on the two of you, allow me to say, guys, because of the Nine of Wands. Now, because the connection feels stuck, some of you can change your mind about it. Hang the man. What can be off the table at this point can be your offer to keep trying to work things out with your partner. So it means that the temperance is off the table when it comes to the opportunity to heal the connection. And instead, it can become the chance to take the higher road in order to move in a different direction. This romantic connection can be considered as an extremely important one for some of you. What went missing in action, allow me to say, is the equal give and take between you and your person, Six of Pentacles. So now love can be ready to fade away. This is the choice of words that is coming to my mind. And considering the King of Cups, which for me is an energy about the opportunity to keep feelings and emotions under the surface of the water. If we follow this consideration, the heart of her head decision represented by the lovers can truly push some of you towards a new beginning that is not going to see this person, your old partner, involved basically by your side. The two aces of swords and of wands are related to something new, something different that you can pursue and find moving forward. The Six of Cups guys can be an energy about little ones. They can be involved for some of you in the overall uh, situation. They can become your top priority because you will have the necessity to basically protect them in the transition. I have to say that it is difficult to save the romantic connection because of the Ten of Swords. Too many disappointments involved in the connection. And now we cannot pretend that they are not real, you know? And that's why some of you basically are approaching what seems to be a rite of passage in order to unstuck yourself. If we flip to the scenario about work, what the current job can offer you may not be enough anymore if we think about your fulfillment and uh, financial rewards. If you feel drained and overwhelmed by the overall situation because you feel that you are giving, giving and giving without receiving anything, you will have to basically go through a window of time that can be uncomfortable, hang the man, yes, but that can also allow you to start looking at the situation from a different point of view. The lady in the temperance, Major Arcana, beside her yoga asana, so like a, an exercise in balance, has one eye open and the other one closed. With the people around you in the work environment, let's say, that is not satisfying anymore, so the one that can be left behind, Ten of Swords, you will have to almost play dumb 
because this will allow you to instead look around for new opportunities, the open eye of the lady, without letting your colleagues, co-workers and so forth know about what your plan truly is. So following the King of Cups, keep your aces of swords and of wands up your sleeve. Keep them secret. Justice is gonna come, meaning that the scales will be balanced and you will get the opportunity to leave behind a situation that has become only a source of struggles. These Ten of Swords, guys, is interesting if we think about a professional situation because the lady, the young witch, is on the ground, multiple swords in her back. There is another figure that is running away. This is something that works like this. A colleague, a boss, someone in a position of advantage can come to you and they can say, look, uh, there are these things that uh, need to be done. I need you to take care of them. I am sure that you will do a great job. And then they go away, basically leaving all the work to you. And if this becomes a pattern, no wonder that we can face a burnout. And the Nine of Wands version of the card is extremely on point because the lady is cornered and she is almost out of ammo, you know? That's why from a situation that feels like a no way out, there can be the realization that we have to look for a different opportunity. When it comes to the professional situation, guys, the offer that we see in the Four of Cups, the offer coming from the kid or, well, it can be a boy or it can be a girl, doesn't matter. The offer can be, for some of you, something that you have already received in the past you are not exactly interested in that opportunity, so you kind of passed on it. That offer may circle back to you kind of unexpectedly because you may still be in contact with the person that made that offer a while ago. The Six of Cups can be extremely auspicious if that's the case, guys, because the offer can be genuine. And if you were not interested back then, you may very well be interested right now. It can be a friend, meaning someone that you can trust, that can extend this offer in your favor. Bottom of the Six of Cups, we have the Two of Cups, which is meaningful if we think about the romantic connection, because it was good, guys, it was good, especially if we are talking about a marriage, but then the situation kind of went off, you know? And bottom of the Two of Cups, we have the Death card. Cut the cords, cutting ties, cutting our losses also. It is meaningful even uh, if we think about the professional situation, you know? Because some of you can say, look, I do not love my job anymore. I mean, I feel that I am taken advantage of, uh, like it doesn't matter. I am offering my best effort, but the rewards are not enough, you know? And so this can be already a sufficient reason in order to look for a different opportunity when it comes to your career. Guys, there is another thing that I want to say. The new endeavors in the professional side of your life can be exciting and they can be pursued in different 
creative fields. So some of you can be involved in endeavors that can allow you to display your art. Others of you can be, for example, in fields that can be about the marketing side uh, of a company and so forth. You may even decide to start uh, working for yourself because you have learned a lot along the journey and now you want to make those lessons count in your favor. So it's auspicious and there is also the opportunity to sign a new contract in the Ace of Wands. It's going to happen fast, but there can be potential for growth and this is encouraging. When it comes to the romantic connection, if you have to go through a divorce, the two cuts that we see in the Justice Major Arcana are kind of hissing at each other, you know? I am not sure that if a divorce comes up, the other person is going to make your life easy. You may have to gather courage in order to handle the situation, you know? Because there can be fights, of course, involved in the process. In any case, the transition can be beneficial, guys, if you realize that the current set of events is not allowing you to take any step forward. If that's the case, this is already an answer about which can be the direction that you have to take at these crossroads. A romantic connection seems to be destined to be left behind. This can be a source of relief for some of you. And when it comes to your career, there can be an unexpected new offer that comes your way. Something that we can even consider as a missed chance in the past that all of a sudden can represent your way out from a job that is not anymore the situation that you can truly consider as the opportunity to shine in the brightest possible way. Things can improve for you. You will have to honor your mindset when it comes to the level of attention that you are able to grant in every nuance of your everyday life by the book. If you manifest the lovely oracle card, you will find peace moving forward, even if life is going to be extremely different from the one that you have experienced in the recent past. Change can be scary at times following the death card but it can also be necessary and extremely auspicious if we think about a better future. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.